Hi, this is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your card for developing Alexa skills. So this video is for Alexa skill developers, novice Alexa skill developers who want to add images to their cards. So first of all, what is a card? A card is on the companion app. So you have your Echo, and this is called echosim.io. This is a free way for you to test your skills as you're developing them uh, if you don't actually have an Alexa. And over here is what comes up. So if you say, you know, good morning. Good morning. Ever wonder what the dog days of summer means? So it acts just like an Alexa, and you get the companion cards on the companion app just like you do normally. So this is what you'll what you'll see as you're developing these skills. So let me show you what the Hello World um, skill looks like right now. Launch Hello World. Hello World. So, uh, so she just you say hello, launch Hello World. That's a skill. She says Hello World back, and I've put on the left side here Hello World card. That's a card title. The name of the skill is Hello World, and then this is the text text that will be displayed on the companion card. So you you're supposed to modify this. So in this video, I'll show you start to finish how to add an image to this card. So let's pause for a second. Uh, see what an image on a card would look like. All right. So adding the image to the card. Launch Hello World. Hello World. And here is the same card, but with an image added. So you can customize these images uh, to be the right image for your skill uh, for the companion card. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do with the Hello World skill in this video. A prerequisite for this video is that you have an Amazon account, you have a developer, Amazon developer account, and you have an AWS account as well. If you don't, please go see one of my other videos. I'll link to it below where you can get, and get started with that. But this assumes you're already um, somewhat familiar developing skills and you just want to add a picture. In this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a skill and uh, put in the title. This is the name of your skill right here. Uh, put in the text and also add this image. Uh, to it. So I'm going to show you a couple different tutorials that Amazon has put out and I'm going to put them all together and show you how to do this uh, pretty easily, I hope. Anyway, so first of all, here is the official Amazon developer, Amazon uh, include a card in your skills response. This is how they tell you how to do it. So if you don't put in a picture, this is what your answer is going to look like on the app. And then when you do add the card, image, this is what it's going to look like. All right, so show you the before and after. So this is what you're what you're going after here. All right, so in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to developer.amazon.com and I'm going to sign in and then go to Alexa. Then I want to go to Alexa Skills Kit and I'm going to add a new skill. So I'm going to call this Hello World. because we'll use the Hello World template as our starting point. Save that. So let's see, let's find Hello World. So Hello World is on GitHub. GitHub.com forward slash Alexa. I'll put this in the description field below. And if you scroll all the way down, it's the last one down here. Sample Node.js Hello World. I'm going to go to that, and then you've got all of the information right here. We're going to go to speech, assets, intent schema. Here are the intents. Copy and paste into our interaction model. Intent schema right here. Simple as that. We don't have any slots. Sample utterances. We'll get that. Right here. So basically, you're going to say hello. And next. So next we're going to go back to our hello world and they give you the code. We're going to go to index.js and then we're going to open up our AWS. And sign into the console. All right, so we're going to go into Lambda skill here. We're going to create a new Lambda function. 
The blueprint I'm going to select is Alexa Skill Kit SDK Fact Skill. I'm going to select Alexa Skills Kit. Next. My function name, hello world. All right. And edit code in line. I'm going to go back to GitHub. Get the, get the text here. Copy. And paste. And I'm going to save this. I want to choose my existing role. Lambda basic execution. Hopefully you have this set up already. And we're going to create the function. Okay, so that's pretty much standard stuff. What I'm going through right now is standard stuff for any skill. So hopefully you already know how to do this. I know I went through that really fast. Um, and then you get your ARN. So you go back to uh, your developer.amazon.com. Now you want to put in your AWS ARN, Amazon resource name. In here, account linking no, and there are no permissions. Next. All right, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to just test it as is. So no cards, nothing. We're just going to say, Hello. Ask hello world. Hello. Hopefully it works. Hello world. There it is. So it speaks hello world. I always like to make sure it just works right straight out of the box as is. Okay. So we've got that. So now set it up from the very beginning. Now I'm going to show you how to include the picture on the card. So right now there's no card. You go, there's nothing that's going to happen right here. So we need to make a card. So how do we know how to do that? Well, what we want to do is we want to go back to Alexa, GitHub Alexa. And from there, we want to go into Alexa Skills Kit SDK for Node.js. And from here, they have a lot of good code right here that we can just take and put right into our Lambda console. Here is the code I need to format the card. So I need the card title, the card content, and the image object. I'm going to copy, paste that into my Lambda console. Now I don't recommend that you edit right in the Lambda console, but I'm in a hurry today, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it on the launch request. So when you launch the scale, this is what it's going to say back to you. And here we go. So card title, card content, and the image object. So this is the card title will be hello world card. The card content will be this is the text. And the image uh, will be right here. Next, what we need to do is right now it just says hello. We want to get the syntax, the code, for a card. So let's look. We're back in the GitHub and the sample code here. So let's look at, oh, here it is. Ask with card or tell with card. So ask with card leaves the skill open while tell with card gives you the output and then closes the skill. So we're going to do that one. Copy and paste right here. We're going to tell with card speech output. Well, we've, we need to define a speech output. So now we've got our speech output. She says hello. Card title, we've got that hello world card. Card content, an image object. So the only thing left at this point is to actually fill in these URLs with the correct URLs. So I'm going to go back to my AWS and upload my images and then get these URLs. So I'm going to open another AWS folder or AWS thing. And we're going to we're going to use something called an S3 service. So if this doesn't appear automatically, you can just type in S3. And it's right there. We need to make the images public so that we can, so people can see them. So I'm going to hit create bucket. You can name the bucket whatever you want within compliance rules. So let's name it hello world. Okay. All right. So there, there, there's a new bucket and I'm going to hit next. Next, I'm going to create the bucket. All right. 
So here's my bucket, hello world. So now I need to upload the images. Now here are my images. And I'm going to upload my images. Now they recommend images that are 720 by 480 and 1200 by 800. So I've gone ahead and just resized my images before I started this. You can use a variety of different programs to resize your images. I'm not going to go into that, but essentially you need to make images that are 720 by 480 and 1200 by 800. And I'm going to hit next, next, upload. There we go. I've got my images. I'm going to select all my images and I'm going to hit more right here. And I'm going to hit make public. These need to be public images. Make public. Okay, now they're public. So as, a, as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it gives you a link. Click the link and sure enough, that's what comes up. So if you really want to check, the way to do this is to go to another browser where you're not logged in and then see if you can see it that way. And as example, this is Firefox and you can see the image. So it's public now. Excellent. So that's not all you have to do. There's another step after this. So let's go back to our bucket here. And the, the specifics are right here in this developer.amazon.com, including a card. So I've made them public. There's another thing I have to do. I have to work with the cores. We have to enable cores. The image server must be set to access control out origin for this to work. So they've given you the code right here. We're going to copy the code. Then we go back to our S3 management console. We go to permissions tab for the bucket, not for the image itself, but for the bucket. And we go to cores configuration and see there's a sample policy right here. We'll delete out everything they have and then we paste in what we just got, and then we hit save. Go back to my objects. I've, I need to get the URLs off of each of these things and paste them into my Lambda function. The small image URL is the 720 by 480 URL, and we'll replace that right here. And then I go back to my S3, and I go look for the large image URL, which is 1200 by 800, copy and paste that link, copy link, and large image URL, replace that right here. So I've got my small image URL, 720 by 480, large image URL, 1200 by 800. So now we're ready to test. I hit save, and let's get ready to test here. So I have, I'm back to my Echo Sim. So I'm going to say, launch hello world. And there you have it. She says, hello. You've got the card title, the name of the skill, the text, and the image. And that is the skill, adding this picture. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And please subscribe.